Meghan and Harry's unusual legal offensive centers on private letter she sent to her father. It looks like Thomas Markle should bury whatever hopes he had of ever talking again to his daughter Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex, or of meeting his royal grandson, Archie Harrison. That's because Thomas Markle's decision to let a British tabloid publish contents of a private, handwritten letter Meghan sent to him has provided grounds for his daughter and her husband, Prince Harry, to file a lawsuit against that tabloid, the Mail on Sunday. The letter also has given Harry added fuel for an extraordinary personal statement he issued Tuesday, denouncing the British tabloid press. In the statement, which accompanied the announcement about the lawsuit, Harry said the tabloids have engaged in a relentless propaganda campaign by publishing false and malicious stories about his American-born wife. Unfortunately, my wife has become one of the latest victims of a British tabloid press that wages campaigns against individuals with no thought to the consequences. A ruthless campaign that has escalated over the past year, throughout her pregnancy and while raising our newborn son, Harry said in the statement, which was released while he and Meghan are on a 10-day royal tour of Africa. I have been a silent witness to her private suffering for too long, Harry added. The statement is unusual because the royal family members rarely speak out or sue the outlets that publish negative stories against them, perhaps thinking that complaining or taking legal action will only prompt the outlets to write more negative stories. Harry said that he and Meghan strongly believe in media freedom as the cornerstone of democracy and acknowledged that filing their lawsuit suit may not be a safe course. But the grandson of Queen Elizabeth II decried the bullying saying, there comes a point when the only thing to do is to stand up to this behavior, because it destroys people and destroys lives. In his statement, Harry referred to his mother, Princess Diana, by saying he was concerned about history repeating itself. Diana died in 1997 after a car she was riding and crashed in a Paris tunnel while being pursued by paparazzi on motorcycles. I've seen what happens when someone I love is commoditized to the point that they are no longer treated or seen as a real person," Harry said. I lost my mother and now I watch my wife falling victim to the same powerful forces. The lawsuits against the Mail on Sunday and its parent company, Associated Newspapers, alleges misuse of private information, infringement of copyright and breach of the Data Protection Act 2018. The Guardian reported that, under British law, the authors of a letter retain ownership of the copyright even after the correspondence is in the possession of another individual. The lawsuit centers on a five-page letter that Meghan reportedly sent to Thomas Markle in August 2018, several months after he was caught staging paparazzi shots ahead of her May 2018 wedding to Prince Harry. The 74-year-old retired Hollywood lighting designer ended up skipping the wedding, reportedly due to emergency heart surgery. Thomas Markle subsequently gave multiple revealing and embarrassing interviews to the Daily Mail, in which he claimed his daughter had turned her back on him and refused to take his calls. He also lamented that he had not been allowed to meet her baby son Archie. In February 2019, Thomas Markle allowed the Mail on Sunday to publish contents of the letter, in which the California-born Duchess told her father his actions had broken my heart into a million pieces. The former Suits actress explained in the letter that she and Harry reached out to him repeatedly before the wedding, that she had helped him financially, and that she only learned of his reported heart attack through the tabloids. Meghan also criticized her father for being in league with his other daughter, Samantha Markle, her older half-sister. Meghan wrote, Daddy, it is with a heavy heart that I write this, not understanding why you have chosen to take this path, turning a blind eye to the pain you are causing. In her letter, Meghan accused her father of having manufactured such unnecessary and unwarranted pain by making the choice to not tell the truth as you are puppeteered in this. Over the past year, the Daily Mail also has been one of the tabloids publishing critical articles about Meghan and Harry. The coverage has dealt with the couple's use of private jets to go on summer vacation and their refusal to allow the media to cover the, the christening of their son Archie or to name his godparents. The couple also has dealt with negative headlines about the $3 million cost of renovating Frogmore Cottage, their home at Windsor Castle. The cost was covered by public funds. 
The Guardian said the royal family is limited in what it can do to stop of the publication of such stories, which likely prompted the Sussex's lawyers to decide to focus on the publication of Meghan's letter to her father. The Mail has stood by its decision to publish photographs of the letter, which remain available on the news organization's website. Harry said the contents of the letter were published in an intentionally destructive manner to manipulate readers. He said the Mail strategically omitted select paragraphs, specific sentences, and even singular words to mask the lies they had perpetuated for over a year. Harry previously issued a statement about press coverage of his wife when news of their relationship became public in 2016. He criticized the racial overtones in the reporting about Meghan, who is biracial. The Duke and Duchess said that they are privately funding their lawsuits against the Mail on Sunday. They will donate proceeds from any damages they win to an anti-bullying charity.